Welcome to the Set Study Podcast. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. I want to thank you guys for subscribing. Blessed enough to have an interview with KFC from Red Deck Bra. 2-0, and by the way. Undefeated fighter. How are you doing tonight, man? I'm doing good. How are you, bro? Doing good, bro. Appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day and doing this. All right, anytime, man. Anytime to help out, man. Anytime. Because I know you're training for the next fight. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. May 4th in Huntington, West Virginia. It's going to be a banger. It's a lot of uh, rednecks browse it out. You know, I mean, I mean, you can't, you can't miss it, man, out there. I mean, it's pay-per-view, pay-per-view, and trust me, it's worth every penny of it because it's exciting. I'm talking about the call-out, the people. I mean, the fights is unphenomenal, you know. It's it's very fun, you know. I mean, if you win your fight, get five, you get $500. Five hundred dollars, and plus you get a crown. You know, what I'm saying just like this. You know, I mean, everybody's chill. You got a real good uh, commentary people. You got Andrew Khan. You got Catfish Cooley. You got Big Murph. Like that. I mean, I mean, everybody got theirs too. I mean, you know, but the red the rednecks, uh, rednecks are definitely ready to be able to put on a hell of a show. You know. But yeah, I mean it's it's where to go, you know. Personally, personally, I like it. I like it better. Uh, I like it better, because uh, better than like. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean UFC and all that. I mean that's you know what I'm saying props to them. I mean you know what I'm saying they're badass. You know, the redneck browser uh, gives uh, gives people like around uh, around here and just out states a chance to uh, get in there and brawl it out, you know? Definitely, it's, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But it's actually re- really cool, you know? I mean, all the fighters is real good, real good, nice to meet them and stuff. But when they're there, they're ready to brawl. They're ready to get it, you know? They're ready to show everybody faster than fast. You know what I'm saying? They're ready to get it, <laughs> you know? You know, it, uh, all the fighters trains real hard, trains real hard, and they uh, they get into it. And the good thing about it, the good thing about it, they ain't no professional. It's uh, it's all people that's amateurs. You know what I'm saying? To give them a chance, it's all it's all real good. The call out videos, they're real funny, <laughs> real funny. Like for example, my last uh, my stare down on my last fight. I brought a bucket of KFC chicken with me and uh, I was going to hang on a lie. I was going to throw it at my opponent's face right there at the stare down. But it so happened he wasn't there. He wasn't there. He was flying in. And uh, this other fighter, other fighter named Jug. So basically he ate my, he said, can I have some? I said, well, you can have the whole bucket, buddy, you know, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I mean, they, they get right into it. Like that, I mean, personally, I do too, you know, but it puts on, it definitely makes a heck of a show, you know what I'm saying? I mean, there's numerous opportunities, you know, to uh, start doing that, you know. I mean, I, I encourage anybody out there that, that wants to step in, I don't think I have to go to redneckbrow.com and click down there for so a fighter sign up. You fill it out, make your call out video if you want to call out somebody on there or so on and so on. And then you just put your picture on there, send it in. And if you get accepted, they will uh, contact you, <clears throat> contact you to let you know what you need to do to get in there to fight. But the good thing about it, the ring girls, they got a ring girl competition. And the ring girl competition, if I ain't mistaken, I think it's uh I think it's a thousand, a thousand or fifteen hundred if for first place winner. And then I think two runner the uh, two runner ups gets five hundred apiece. You got your online rain girl competitions. I mean it's like I said, I mean it's really, really cool. I mean the house is I mean the whole building's like on fire like that because everybody out there come I mean from all over from different states just to come to watch us fight 
and we pre- appreciate every single person that comes out and watches or at home watch it on pay per view. You know, I mean it's it's definitely worth it. You know, but definitely, yeah, man. definitely, bro. Now yes, your sir. last fight, man. Uh, you won. Uh, won your last fight, obviously, because you're two and zero. But I mean, uh, your last fight uh, lasted a little bit longer. than Your first one, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, my my uh first fight. Um. Uh, Honestly, I think right there, uh, because the first round, like five seconds in the first round, he rushed in. When he rushed in, I caught him with the right hook. And when I caught him with the right hook, I dropped him. And I dropped him. I mean, don't get me wrong, I give him props when he jumped back up, you know. But after that first round was over, he quit. He quit. So that's how I won the first round, the first fight. But the second fight that I was in, which was the last one, I mean, he was a good opponent. He was a good opponent. I mean, he hits hard, you know what I'm saying? Hits hard. He's got a uh, good stamina like that. You know what I'm saying? It was a heck of a fight. You know what I'm saying? Props to him for getting in the ring, you know? I mean, it's <clears throat> it's like the respect thing, you know? If you get in there, brawl it out. You know what I'm saying? Whoever wins, wins. If you lose, like, for example, if I lose, I ain't going to have no grudge. I'm gonna come back, train harder, and then I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna go back for my rematch, you know. But, yeah. but I tell you, I tell you, I mean, he sh- he uh, shoved me down once, and uh, he clipped me on my jaw in the first round, and I fell, but I jumped back up, I knocked him down, the second round. Well, basically, I like threw it. I knocked him down like like three or four times. The second round, I about knocked him my way out of the ropes. He was hanging out, you know. But uh, <clears throat> but I mean, it's a it was a heck of a fight, you know. I mean, we fought our hearts out, you know, giving up giving the crowd what they want to see, you know what I'm saying? And plus, plus saying who's not better in the ring, you know what I'm saying? Which ones, which one can take it more? Which one can give it more? You know, it it all is, you know, and then they went through the decision, and then when it decision, they called in the blue corner, which would have been me, and uh, so I got my crown, got my five hundred dollars, you know what I'm saying? To be honest with you, as soon as I got out of that ring, I was ready to turn around, and get right back into the ring. I mean, it's <laughs> <laughs> it was, I mean, it's it's some um, something, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's like all the workers there, you know what I'm saying? The corner mans, you know what I'm saying? Everybody around like the doctors and stuff or the like professionals, you know what I'm saying? To make sure, you know what I'm saying? You good, you you know what I'm saying? So that but everything is real good and cool and stuff, you know? But I'm hoping that they're just like a, in this fight coming up, uh, like I said, I'm 135 pounds, you know? I'm in lightweight. But I mean, I'll take the, I'll take the meanest, baddest one in my division. You know what I'm saying? To uh, because you got to, uh, you got to take out the best to be the best. You know. You know. I mean, it's, I mean, it is what it is. You know, if you want to get into that, I mean, you got to, uh, you got to have the heart and the willpower. And my, if I, my own advice is when you get in the ring, don't quit, you know, don't quit. I mean, don't get me wrong. I understand that there, if you try and you can't, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I understand that 100%. But my, that's my only personal opinion. If you get in the ring, give it your all. Give it your all. If you feel like you're cramping up, try to go to that next limit over, you know, because you never know that next limit right there it might put you uh might put you over right there for you win you know yes yeah, sir man. it's just impressive man that you want to fight with like uh it going the full distance that's more impressive to me than uh uh like a few second knockout because i mean that's that's a uh, testing your stamina like you said I mean, it's yes, testing sir. yourself as a fighter man that's an even more impressive win to me i sure appreciate you sure thank you man 
Both yeah. of them are impressive, though, for sure. And I've heard from a lot of people you're an impressive fighter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. There's a lot of people out there. Uh, um, like I'll be out uh, in public or something, uh, though, uh, my fans always be wanting to like take pictures with me or, you know what I'm saying, get my autographs and stuff. I mean, I don't mind that one bit. You know what I'm saying? I love my fans. I love my fans. I care about them. I do, you know what I'm saying? Don't matter where I'm at, my fan out there uh, wants a picture or anything. It's, they're more than welcome, you know, like that. And plus, uh, and, and tell you, I'll tell you something. I'll tell you, um, uh, plus there's a, in the first, uh, redneck brawl, I was walking out, I was walking out of the rain, going to the back and there was uh, like a little kid there and he's holding his little fist out like it. And I walked, walked by and my fist bumped him and that made his day. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's, that was an awesome feeling, you know, and it's just, you know what I'm saying? Just the love to do it like that. And it's just like you were like a role model to them, you know? Like they look up to you. It's, like I said, awesome feeling. It really is. You know? I mean, uh, the promoter, the promoter, he's he's a real cool guy. He's a real cool guy, you know? I mean, shout out to him for sure, you know? And Catfish Cool, the Andrew Combe, Merck, you know what I'm saying? All them is real cool and stuff you know, for giving us, give me the opportunity to do that, you know, it sure is, uh, the, <clears throat> the best thing, uh, I can say about the, like, when you get in there and go try to go the distance, is make sure you train, train, you know what I'm saying, like, make sure you do your cardio, do your cardio, make sure you do, uh, just numerous exercises, but the main thing about it is your cardio, if you don't have good cardio, you don't have good cardio you're gonna get gassed and if you get gassed then pretty much right there and if your opponent's not gassed then it's it's gonna be a real tough fight for you you know so that that's the main thing keep keep a good cardio you know train six days a week and always have that one day to rest you know but it's a it's real it's real fun you know what i'm saying everything up there is uh it's cool. Uh, if people think like it's uh, like uh, put on, it's not. It's legitly like real rednecks coming, stepping in and brought <clears throat> and brought it out. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know what I'm saying? The call out videos are so funny and they are uh, actually meaning, you know what I'm saying? Mean what they say, you know? I mean, like, like for example, there's this, uh, Sasquatch and uh, Jug, um, they was uh, they fought this time, and I mean it, it was heavyweights, and they brought it out, you know what I'm saying, but, and then they actually went over top the top of the ropes and landed on the table, got in the middle of the fight, so they had to uh, stop and put and get them back in there, and they got up and they they brought it out, you know, and if uh <clears throat> and if people were out there if they didn't get to see the redneck brawl you know saying the redneck brawls that they uh that they had before in the past and this one you can go to the uh play store on the on the play store and type in redneck brawl and they actually got an app and it, i think it's like like 20 25 dollars for a month but but you get to watch every single one of them all the fights you know what i'm saying everything you know and it's totally worth it you know it really is it really is, you know. I mean, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, the ran the ran girls. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, the ran girls are real beautiful, you know. They are, you know what I'm saying. And personally, I think every one of them should win, you know. You know, I mean, they get in there and they try their best, like it, you know. I mean, props to them, you know. And if they, uh, there's actually uh, some fighters. Oh, and if uh, there's some girl, women out there that wants to fight and be a ring girls, they can actually be do that. They can be a ring girl and fight. You know, so that can be a chance for them to win another five hundred. You know, so it's like I said. I mean, it's worth it. You know, every penny of it. I mean, I, don't get me wrong. I've heard people out there say, "Oh, that's crazy." You know and stuff like that i understand it's crazy 
but but it's just something that you love to do something that you love to do and for one for one you can't uh you can't go out somewhere and just brawl out with somebody you know and not and a lot of times you're gonna get in trouble if you do that you know but this uh like i said this redneck brawl uh chris give you the opportunity to step in there and to brawl it out and plus if you win your fight you get 500 dollars. so pretty much you're gonna brawl and uh get a chance to win 500 dollars and, and some crowns you know like that i mean you know what I'm saying? Plus, two now, bro. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. I'm gonna be uh hopefully be three and a one undefeated streak. I'm gonna keep on keeping on. You know. It's a, uh, but you know what I'm saying? Uh the redneck bra right there, if you uh <clears throat> you uh the good thing about it is like how I see it like that, the people that's got like beef and stuff, they can get in they can get on there and you know what I'm saying, they might get uh picked, you know. If they get picked, they'll get in there and they can squash their beef out, beef in the ring and not out there on the streets or anywhere, you know? So, I mean, that's that's, that's more safer in the ring than just out there on the streets. You don't know what's going to happen out right there on the streets if you're trying to fight, you know? Yeah, you got referees and stuff. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And everything is, uh, is safe. Everything's safe, you know? Like, uh, like you know, the all the fighters, they all the fighters, they uh, go through physicals and everything like that to make sure everything's good, you know, like that. So it's safe for the other fighters, you know, like that. I mean, it's like I mean, it's real, it's real good gig, you know. I mean, the redneck bro. I mean, personally, it's blowing up, you know, like each like. To me personally, every day out there, you can just see it just growing and growing and growing, get bigger and bigger and bigger. You know, definitely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, definitely. but I'm, but uh, you can watch the stare downs on Facebook. On type in Redneck Brawl on Facebook, you can watch the stare downs. The stare downs always happens the day before the fights. So, like this fight's gonna be May fourth, then the stare downs will be on May third. Any yeah. idea who you're gonna be fighting? Uh, not yet, not yet. Well, this one guy out right there, he's uh trying to. He said, uh, he's like for me to uh meet him fight. I told him to make a good call out video, like that. You know what I'm saying? I told him it's all respect. You know, you know what I'm saying? And uh, he said he would. So we might uh we might be fighting. You know what I'm saying? But but if not, there's always people out there willing willing to do it you know willing to do it i mean it's like i said i mean i'll take the biggest the baddest you know what i'm saying it don't matter it don't matter to me you know what i'm saying i mean i've had my like in street fights i've had my honey and whoop before and i'd say it ain't gonna be the last time <laughs> you know what i'm saying but but i said they'd have to do it you know but hey cause if you take if, like say for example if i take a loss i won't hang up my gloves you know, like I said, I'll come home, train harder, go back for my rematch, you know. And just, like I said, just keep on moving forward. Don't let any uh, rough patch stop you out there from following your dream. Definitely, yeah. man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But, yeah, um, but uh, my, uh, I train, uh, I train six days a week and I rest on the uh, on Sundays and uh man the good thing about it is eating healthy you know eating healthy and just just keep your body in tone you know yes sir yes sir but yeah um uh, hopefully you get to watch it uh watch it May fourth definitely bro definitely and uh Hopefully you can get a third crowd. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Two and two and zero oh, gonna make it three and zero. Oh. Um, like I said, I like I said, I I don't I don't mind I don't mind if I'm fighting a uh, West Virginian, uh, Michigan, Ohio, Mississippi. I mean, it don't matter. Don't matter where they're from. You know, I think I have to do call me out, meet me there. We can brawl it out and see who's uh, 
batter in the ring, you know, put on a heck of a show, you know, and give the crowd what they want. A good, good old fashioned stand up brawling. No, no hugging, no hugging. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? No hugging. Just a uh, just fat, good old fashioned brawl because that's what people want to come and see. See them brawl it out. And no hugging for sure. Definitely, man. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I've seen uh, guys hug, seen guys hug, but Floyd Mayweather was pretty bad for that. He was, he was, but and but he had some hands too when he threw them. Oh, Floyd is one of the best boxers ever. Oh yes, oh, he was yeah. smart though when he he went to hug like Manny Pacquiao on that fight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm hoping like one day I can be uh. I know it's going to sound crazy. I'm hoping one day I can be like Mike Tyson. There you know? we go, man. Yes, sir. That, that's that's my dream. Like, yeah, I want to get out there and be just like him, you know. I mean, shoot, uh, or Muhammad Ali, floating like a butterfly, sting like a bee. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know. But, uh, but like I said, you just got to follow your dream. Keep on keeping on. Don't let no obstacle stop you out there from following it. You know? Definitely, bro. Now, is there anywhere uh, anybody can follow you, like on Facebook or YouTube or something? Yes, sir. Uh, they can follow me, like on Facebook, or I got uh, Instagram. You know what I'm saying? What's your name on Facebook, bro? Um, uh, Jonathan Lewis. Jonathan Lewis. Um, you'll see a picture made. My background is like uh, <laughs> like me and my buddy out there fishing, you know. And uh, <clears throat> I'm wearing like a like a blue uh, shirt, you know. I mean. I mean, I'll accept uh, any uh, request or anything like that for my fans and anything. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to turn nobody away, you know. Like that, I mean, it's real. It's real. I'm a real cool guy, you know what I'm saying? I mean, help out anybody I can, you know. I mean, I mean, it's <clears> – <throat> I'm just all in general one uh, real good guy, you know. Definitely, bro, definitely. Definitely yes, appreciate you being on. Oh, yeah, what's your Instagram again? It's uh Jonathan Lewis seven eighty seven. All right, just so people can know to follow you, man. Appreciate you being on KFC. Uh, no problem. You stay classy, old boy. Sure, man. Everybody have a good night and God bless. Yes, sir.